All right, uh, got a got a video finally installing some some new parts that aren't maintenance stuff. Uh, kind of rare. We're in the truck. We're headed down to the shop. I'm gonna get this uh, get this part decked out with some titanium hardware, just cause you know. I think it'll look cool. Um, so let's see, I'll uh, cut to what we actually got. So in this box we have uh, the new Coda built, um, uh, fucking truck unboxing. We got the new Coda built uh, bolt in. Oh, so this is the new Coda built uh, bolt in BMW handbrake solution. So this just takes your standard BMW um, handbrake mounts and allows you to run a uh, dual caliper setup that just bolt in so you don't have to make any new brackets or anything. So I'm pretty stoked on it. So here we have the handbrake uh, almost fully assembled. We did titanium hardware here here and we're doing one here as well we just didn't have anything for the actual pivot bolt but all together it looks pretty good so here we have it all assembled um we got titanium bolt here here and there as well it's the only one we didn't have but uh yeah now we go set it up in the car um i still need to get the fitting for this to be a in um, yeah, otherwise pretty stoked on it. Looks pretty nice. All right, so now that we've got the handbrake assembled, um, we'll finally get to see uh, just how bolted it actually is. So we'll pull this out of the way, set that there, and then I believe the handbrake should just mount there. Yeah. So I don't know where that side one ties into. It's got a tie in over here. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and bolt that up. All right, so we did have to pull some carpet out of the way. Um, so we'll just tear it out. I believe should just be able to, I still got to take some more out. All the way up to about here. Oh, actually, I think. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so we'll still have to take. I think we'll have to take the airbag since they're out, actually. Let's see. Um, yeah, so that needs to come out, and then we can, uh, mount that up. Alright, so now, now we have the airbag sensor out of the car. I believe we should be able to mount this up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that should look pretty good. Um, see if I can go ahead and get some bolts in it real quick. Alright, so now we've actually got it, uh, mounted up. I don't have it truly secured yet, um, but it looks pretty good in there. It does, it does hit when you go in reverse, um, but that shouldn't be a big deal. So now I'm gonna see what it's gonna take to cut the uh, center console around it. So a bit of a surprise, we didn't actually have to cut anything. It does clear. Um, the center console will have to be off to fill it, but that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked on how it came out. So, definitely a good handbrake. Um, the placement of it's pretty nice. Let's see. So, yeah, as I was saying, this is kind of what it's like in reverse. I think the main reason it hits is, uh, one, I don't have a um, DSSR, so it is a little loose still. And then the size of the shift knob and everything else. But also at the same time, like how many times are you going to be in reverse, well, you know, 
How many times is it going to be an issue that hitting this going in reverse? So it has plenty of clearance in first, plenty in second, and you can just grab it. Doesn't get in the way of the window buttons, really, which is nice. Um, obviously, you know, way more clearance in third. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I need to finish, like, I need to get some adapters uh, to be able to run all the lines and stuff. But once I get everything run, um, I'll kind of do like an update video. And once the car is running and I can test it out, then I'll post another video, you know, reviewing the, reviewing the whole setup. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's the new Coda built, um, bolt-in handbrake installed and pretty happy with the fitment. Haven't gotten to test it yet, unfortunately, but fitment wise, it's a really nice handbrake, so. Catch you next time.